I'm so excited today because we're going to talk about the different types of maps. And when you combine that with what you already know about map skills and map keys and legends, then we're going to start getting a lot of information from maps, which is exciting. You know, sometimes you'll see maps like this. Now, don't get me wrong. This map shows you some information. These are the different continents of the world. This is North America. Doesn't really label the oceans, but it gives you some information. But we're going to look at a little more complex and exciting maps to give us a little bit more information about the world. So that's going to help us achieve our mission. First, let's look at physical maps. Take a look. This is a physical map of Louisiana. What do you see? Here's a physical map of the United States, our country. Here's Louisiana that we just looked at, where we live. One more physical map. This one's a little different. Now, look at the key. That'll help you see. What do you see? Those, those maps before, not very good maps, really. No key. This one, this one will help us out. Physical maps show rivers and mountains, all right? You notice that physical maps actually look rough, like they actually show us the texture of the land. When there are mountains, it looks like mountains. When there are flat lands, it looks like flat lands. And so this is going to show us the way the natural features of the land look. Now, to contrast, let's look at political maps. What do you see here? What do you see here? In political maps, you see borders and cities, the borders that so separate different states in the United States, the borders that separate different countries around the world. You see political borders, and you also see cities. Here's actually a political map of Louisiana. Here New here's New Orleans, where we live. Now, here's Lake Pontchartrain. It's right near where we live. It's a huge lake, but it's not even labeled because this map doesn't really show us the natural features like lakes and rivers, like the Mississippi River right here. Very important, but this doesn't really show us the natural features, so it doesn't even label it. What instead we see are the different states and their borders and the different cities. Political or physical? These are two different maps different regions of the world, but the same type of map. What are you seeing? Are you seeing political maps, borders and cities? Are you seeing physical map, rivers and mountains? Which map is physical here, map one or map two? This is map one. Remember that physical maps look rough and then show you the way the land looks. Which is a political map. This one is our political map, map two. You see the different countries almost look like patches. Which map is physical? This one's tricky. We don't see mountains, but we do see rivers. Louisiana actually doesn't have many mountains. We have our highest mountain is right here, and it's not very tall. Now, what do you think about this map? Looks like a political map. But when we look at our key, it gets even trickier. I see that it shows where rivers are. Like, wow, it shows the Mississippi River, and it even labels it. And what's down here? Swamps? That's really showing me the way the land looks. Louisiana has a lot of swamps. Florida has a lot of swamps. So this map is also showing me the way the land looks. Is this a physical or a political map? Well, in some ways it's both. But if I was forced to decide, I would decide a political map. Okay? It shows us the way the land looks, but it mostly focuses on the borders. That's what these bright colors showing me. It still has that patchwork look of the political map of different states. Now, you should be asking about this point. Who cares? How are these used? How are these maps used? Who really cares about these different maps? Well, let's start with political maps. That's a great question. If you wanted to know 
um, who makes the laws in Texas? Or better yet, you wanted to talk to people to try and change some of the laws in Texas. Then where would you go? Political maps oftentimes show you state capitals. Those are one of the cities in the different states where governments get together to make laws. So if you were interested in government and how laws are made, then you would need a political map to know where capitals are and where these governments are located. What about physical maps? Why would you need to know the way the land looks in different places? Well, if you're traveling anywhere, whether you need to visit family someday or go on a trip for business someday or go away to college someday or just go on a vacation, you would need to know what the land is like. If you go up into the mountains, you're going to pack different clothes than if you're going to go, oh, I don't know, into the desert or onto the beach or into the swamp. These are all important things, and you need a physical map to give you that kind of information. Now, you're going to have some more practice in your packet. You're going to have part four, a physical map with some information, part five, a political map with some information, just give you more practice with these different types of maps. And then you're going to have part six. I want you to do four and five first, but when you get to part six, it's going to ask you to create your own map. That's going to include drawing the outline of your own imaginary island, and then also a key that gives different information. Now, the information you give is going to depend on the type of map. So here's a physical map of an island that's imaginary, right? We have a key that shows where rivers and maybe where a lake is located and forests are located and beaches are located. And that's an example of what an imaginary island with a key might look like. Now, you might, your political map will look different. It'll have boundaries and cities, so you'll have to figure out where you want cities on your map. So that'll be exciting, too. And that will hopefully help you as you complete that activity and get to create your own maps, which should be fun. That's where we're going to stop today, and you're going to get a chance to learn about more maps in the future. But for now, I want you to really master political maps and physical maps and knowing the difference between those.